guys, this is Tom from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC. We're going to do a tech talk on a couple new receivers with our good friend John Adams. He is the technical director for Spectrum. Um, so we got a couple of new receivers and they are a little different than uh, what we've had before. What, what we got here, John? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a new 410 and 620 um, receivers. So what you'll find very unique about these, it has several unique new functions and features, but one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is there's no external antenna. Mm -hmm. So actually we've incorporated, um, several months ago we developed a um, and released a 2100 series receiver for Surface, and we've been testing the antenna. There's actually an onboard antenna. Um, the antenna was developed by Texas Instruments, and it actually the performance of the antenna is superseding that of our typical wire antennas. Wow. So for the last several months, we've been testing this in uh, aircraft applications, and we've actually found out that uh, in aircraft applications, we're actually getting better range and better RF link performance than many of the wire antennas. So consequently, we decided that we would incorporate this in a four and six channel receiver. Yeah. So pretty excited about that. Right, and they come at a great price. Uh, they are the same prices are already cheap. Uh, four and six channel receivers. You guys can inexpensive. Make. Inexpensive. I prefer to say inexpensive. Well, not cheap. Component wise, <laughs> cheap's our competitors. The, the <laughs> we're inexpensive. Cheap's our competitors. That's exactly right. Um, really, this thing it's packed with features. Uh, one of my favorite things is that it has a bind button on it. Um, and this bind button, it, it, you don't only have to hold it while you're plugging in the battery. You can press the bind button while it's already powered on. Correct. Bind. So the, the bind function, this does not have a bind plug, but it has a bind button on the top. Right. That you see the Spectrum logo. Um, and actually, there's two ways to bind. Either press and hold and then turn on the power, and it'll go into the bind mode. Of course, you'll see the blinking amber light like you normally do with any Spectrum receiver. Or, in addition, you can power the receiver up, and then after it's powered up, press and hold the bind button for approximately four to five seconds and it will automatically go into bind. Yeah. So that's extremely convenient. Some other features, uh, th these receivers have, uh, we call it flyby telemetry, but it's actually flyby telemetry oh. that has longer range than our conventional uh, flyby telemetry systems. Okay. We're finding we're seeing about 800 feet of range. Uh, yeah. It varies with installations and so on. Uh, as far as the range goes and the telemetry that you have you have no external port So you're not going to be able to plug in external sensors, but you actually have receiver pack voltage mm -hmm. You have flight log data and then you also have signal strength or RSSI and you yeah. can select that on your transmitter Okay, so that's pretty neat if you're out You know a couple thousand feet. You're not going to get telemetry. In okay, fashion. so but fly it by it's to. like within what would you say? 500 feet. No, it? it's about 800 feet it okay. again the installation has so yeah. much to do with it right and your location and your environment But we're typically seeing about six to eight hundred feet. Okay. Um, All right easily. So we, we talk about installation um, What are the things that I mean, it's a lot like just any other antenna? But with this one in particular is there anything that you would point out that people need to be aware of when they're installing this receiver? Just like any antenna, um, you know, there is an antenna even though you don't see it, but it's internal So it's really important that you mount the antenna or in this case the receiver at least two to three inches away from anything that's significant um, metallic uh, you know like carbon fiber uh, you know your your flight pack pack you know if you have a large flight pack you really need to uh, mount this a couple inches away from uh, at least um, from any of that and then of course because it has um, telemetry then do a range check and so do a range check from various directions and it'll tell you immediately you know you go to a range check you um, you push the button on your transmitter range test mode um, and if at uh, 30 paces um, roughly 90 feet um, you, know, you should have full control and you can actually read the readout on that on your screen it'll tell you yeah. if you have a good, look, if you have a good um, RF link. It's what we like to affectionately call an advanced range test when you're like moving everything around just trying exactly. to get every yeah. uh, angle of attack you know, while you're I'll, doing it. I'll tell you what, we've flown this, we've got tons of these out in the field uh, now in beta test and we've flown this in a lot of different aircraft and literally we fly these you know out of sight mm -hmm. and actually we're seeing about a 12 to 15 percent increase in range over our conventional wow. receivers with this antenna. That's so incredible. Cool. Yeah. The other thing obviously they're very small and compact, they have a four channel version um, four channel version is seven grams and then we have the six channel version which is eight grams yeah. so very light compact okay. uh, yeah. because of the antenna uh, we have kind of a unique shape to the case right. so obviously just servo tape from the bottom yeah that's really neat yeah yeah and super compact this is great for uh, you know sailplanes and so on mm -hmm. with a very narrow fuselage yeah I'm gonna throw one of these in a little DLG of mine. perfect yeah, it's perfect for that yeah. absolutely so. um, talking about sailplanes it's got uh, two sets of free uh, fail safes on it right it's got 
preset failsafe and smart safe? Correct. Right. Uh, well, now, uh, when you say smart safe, so smart safe, keep in mind, smart safe is for throttle only. So okay. the way that smart safe works, and that's in all of our various sure. um, receivers, so smart safe is on throttle only. Mm -hmm. So if you power the receiver up, there's no output pulse on throttle. So okay. it won't arm your speed controller. Okay. And then when you first turn your transmitter on, um, if the receiver's already powered up, it'll obviously output the pulse mm -hmm. uh, that's that's appropriate for the position and um, you know then you would go to low throttle that would arm your arm your speed controller and then if you lose signal um, then of course it will go into the fail safe position right basically kill the motor okay so that's what smart safe is all right yeah um, and, and of then course then hold, there's hold, hold last, last. Command. there's yeah. hold last command so um, this has hold last command and it also has preset fail safe so okay. hold last command is if you lose signal all of the channels will hold last command, um, meaning that you know your ailerons and everything will stay in the position. However, the throttle will obviously throttle back, and the preset failsafe. Obviously, what that does is all your surfaces go to the preset um, function when you bump. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so setting up preset on these, and this is something that's new with our our more. Uh, economic mm -hmm. cheap uh, receivers is that it has all the uh, fail-safe settings Correct. built into it that you can choose from which is really cool um, so presets where it when you bind at the time of binding and I always have to tell people this is when the re receiver is recording its preset fail-safe yep so just kind of keep that in mind correct um, uh, Aircraft wise, what would you say this is kind of like, I mean, park flyers, stuff like that, up to like Everything. 60 size? or Absolutely. In fact, anything that's appropriate for six, four set channels or six channels. Okay. So, you know, right now, foamies are super, super popular. Mm -hmm. So, we're installing these in all the various uh, foamies that we fly. Um, you know, we're flying these in electric ducted fans and foamies and gliders okay. and yeah. Um, really, no limitations from that perspective. Great. Uh, great. Just, you know, the, lim the real limitation is you got six channels or you got four channels. Right, so right. It's channel limited, not range limited. Okay. Um, just kind of looking down our, on the horizon, is this kind of the way that we're going to be going with antennas or? So it's quite interesting when we first indulged in this, um, in, in looking at these antenna less receivers. Yeah. Um, you know, we thought, wow, it would really be appropriate for surface because guys don't want to have the whip antennas mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And how do you put the antenna in the car? And then when we started testing these and when we started testing specifically this TI antenna, we found out that we can actually gain better performance. So certainly we'll see in the future. We'll continue testing and see where this takes us. Okay. But it okay. makes it extremely easy and convenient to install in an airplane. Right. Plus, you know, a lot of us, we've been around in the field and we see that guys, um, you know, they get antennas ripped off or they don't install them know, correctly. Right? It eliminates all of that. So, I mean, it just makes it so much easier yeah. just to install it. It's, it's really place. cool. So it's cool. A new innovation from Spectrum here. Uh, thanks for joining us on our Tech Talk. I think that's all the time we got. Cool. So, I think we're good to go. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe, comment if you'd like to know anything more, and we'll get to that. And uh, thanks, and have a great day. Thanks.